Now for part uh, A, A part 2, we've got to find M, the mass of this block that was placed at R. And to do this, what we do now is we consider resolving. Resolving vertically, and it's up to you whether you take upwards as positive or downwards as positive. I'm going to take downwards as positive purely because M is in that positive sense. So it's going to be a positive value in my equation. But it's up to you. Experiment with this and try resolving upwards. You should get the same answer at the end of the day. Now, if I resolve downwards, then I've got mg acting downwards. And then I've also got plus 20g plus 40g acting downwards, a total of 60g newtons, so that's plus 60g. And then I've got the two reactions acting upwards in the opposite sense to this, so that's going to be minus 2r. But we found out in the previous part that r was 313.6 newtons, or 32g. I'm going to just write in 32g, two lots of 32g. And this is the resultant force now acting on the plank. But because it's in equilibrium, that resultant force must equal zero. And because I kept a g in here, I can see that I've got g in each of the terms. So I can cancel that out, divide each term by g. Makes the equation a lot easier to work with because I therefore have m and I've got 60 here minus 64, so that's going to be minus 4 equals 0. So you can see clearly if I add 4 to both sides, m equals 4. All right?